Hi everyone, welcome back to Harp and Guitar, People and Music, and thanks a lot for joining me here today for another episode of Whiskey's Blues Gumbo. This is the show where we take strange or unusual sounding words in blues, and we try to figure out what the heck they're talking about. So for today I actually have a twofer for you, a twofer, and uh, today's word is dog. Now, it doesn't sound too strange or unusual, we hear it in the blues a lot, but much like a lot of other words that we discuss here, there's some double meaning or hidden meaning or double entendre. So a dog is generally thought of as being an insult. So if somebody calls somebody else a dog, it basically means, or it's implying that they're uh, oversexed, that uh, they're sort of hypersexualized. Now, oftentimes, a dog can be just that, just a dog in a song, as opposed to the word having a hidden meaning or, or being an insult. And that dog will often take the form in songs like uh, Lightning Hopkins, where the dog basically acts as a reflection of, of the artist's or the musician's feelings or his conscience, almost like a spirit guide or an animal spirit. So in that song that I'm referring to, he, uh, uh, he's singing about his, his dog is in the backyard howling because he feels sad because his master and his master's woman have split up. So he feels lonely for the, his master's woman to rejoin his master. Now the other term on this one is salty dog. And salty dog is slightly more from the Cajun or the Creole side of it in terms of there's there's a little bit of French added in there. And in French, salty means sele or sele means salty. So that's where you get sort of uh, this salty dog, this sullied dog, dirty dog. And that's basically salty dog means dirty dog. And we hear this a lot in sort of blues from the 1930s where they're singing, you know, uh, um, I want to be your salty dog, or I ain't going to be your salty dog no more. And uh, basically that's, again, a man referring to himself or a blues musician referring to himself as being a salty dog or a dirty dog or being hypersexualized. So there you go. That is going to do it here for today for Harp and Guitar, People and Music, and another episode of Whiskey's Blues Gumbo. On behalf of myself and my partner in crime here, Monk Music, Thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate it as always. Um, and of course, as well, if you ever come across any strange or unusual blues words or phrases and you, you don't know what they mean and you want to know what the heck they're talking about, let us know down in the comments. Be glad to look into it for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and do all the other Hootube stuffs. And I will talk to you again real soon. All right. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.